Hello there my loves, this is Natalia. Welcome to this day of the first day of the brand new week which is the 28th of October 2019 and also we have a new moon in the sign of Scorpio. So um, happy new moon day everyone. So um, thank you for joining me live if you are able to watch this live stream, this live video. If you're not, if you're just picking up, catching up later in the day or later in the week even, it doesn't matter. You're still going to get some goodness, some good vibes from these messages and indeed um, if you are watching me on YouTube because I do upload this video to YouTube, um, hello YouTube followers, subscribers, welcome. And this message, although I'm recording it for the new moon on the 28th of October, the pick a card reading is timeless. So you can, uh, you can enjoy the messages coming towards you um, whenever you're fated to watch this video. Thank you for watching. So who have I got joining me live? This is beautiful that I have so many of you. I've got 22 already. So I'll see if I can go through you all, um, all the names, and then we'll get going on the weekly messages, shall we? Good morning. Is it Eliza or Eliza? Um, good morning, Tracy Spencer. Good morning, Sue Wood. You've got Flu, oh my poor, poor darling, um, flu is horrible, so lots of love to you. Poppy Church is asking if I'm feeling better this morning. I've got a bad back, oh, twingy bad back that just keeps coming on and off, but thank you for your, your care. It's feeling better, it is feeling a little bit better. Thank you for asking, Laurie Fantasia, good morning. Um, you're loving the unicorns, oh yes, we've got some unicorn messages, Eliza. And Sarah Bolchin's here. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning to Joy Cook. And uh, did I say Tracy Spencer? Sheila Alexandra Hamilton. Hello, Sheila. Um, Sheila, I need to get you to... Um, sorry, just a quick message for, for Sheila Hamilton. I need you to get to uh, request to join the group again, the Angelic Circle. Um, so if you could do that, that would be wonderful. Leanne... Um, is here as well. Anna Maria is here. Happy new moon to you, Elaine Sega. Good morning to Robin Steele. Good afternoon, Robin Steele. Good evening. Cheryl Krantz is with us. Good morning. Good afternoon. Lena uh, Pulgarin. Good morning. Angela Davis and Christian Cottrell. Good morning. Louise Atkins. And um, yeah, I think I'm all caught up. Right. So let's have some new moon messages from Radley Valentine, Angel Tarot deck, and let us see, let us see what this new moon is bringing us because we've got lots of planets in the in the sign of Scorpio. We're in Scorpio season now. Um, it's exciting. It's exciting, isn't it? What is rattling over there? Let me just stop that because that's annoying, isn't it? We don't want rattles. So let's have, we always have three cards and we've got a, a new moon or a full moon. I always like to make sure that we get, we get extra messages because we need one for the, for the lunar phase, the lunar cycle that we're going through. Okay, so let us begin with our first card that I drew. So we will, for those of you who are not used to seeing this, we will actually have an interactive reading. So we've got these, um, these cards lined up for later so please don't ask for an individual message because this is about the collective this is about everybody having a message today okay so this is for all of us and Sonia Anders good morning Janice Farrelly good morning so this is all about what is coming up for the new moon for all of us what is it signifying what is it bringing us now this is really interesting because the six of water is all about nostalgia it's about the past it's about looking back it's about going deep into looking at and exploring. Those cups contain a lot of emotional things, stuff. And they're deep down below the surface of the water. So normally we're up here with our head above the water. But there are so many things that we maybe haven't dealt with, maybe need to deal with, maybe we need to go back over. And we're also going to have on the 31st of October, which is Thursday, we're going to be having Mercury going retrograde in Scorpio. It's in Scorpio right now, but Mercury is going retrograde in this very deep and complex water sign. 
And Mercury, when it tracks back, when it goes through its retrograde cycles, it's in shadow at the moment, so it's slowed right down normally. It's very, very fast planet. When it goes back, it gets us to relook at things. It gets us to revisit things from the past. So people from the past can pop up and opportunities that passes by before can come around again. But we get to revisit things. We, we get to redo things. We get to um, have this reflective time. And you know what? We're in the end of, I keep saying this, if you ever have a reading with me at the moment, I'm going on and on about 2019 being this really important final year of this decade. And so it feels like we're being fast-tracked to clear up a lot of things that maybe we've wanted to hide from, maybe not wanted to see, maybe not been able to, or, or the, the timing wasn't right. And now we're able to go over this stuff. We're go we're we're gonna have to deal with as much as we can in 2019, in order to close the door on those things and begin a fresh chapter, and a fresh 10 year cycle, in 2020. So it feels good and very relevant that we should have the six of water for this new moon. So normally new moons, are a time of new beginnings, resets, intention setting. What do I want for the next 30 days? What um, wishes do I want to put out there? You can do that. Um, that's a, This is the perfect time the moon is going to start waxing to fullness after this new moon. However, there are also some things that may make you a bit emotional. You may be feeling like twinges are coming up to be dealt with, that, that emotional baggage, emotional healing is being presented to you. So if you are feeling emotional, if you're feeling a little bit raw, that's perfectly fine because that's that's all in alignment with the energies today and obviously this week as well as we go into Mercury retrograde. So um, I hope that that resonates with you, that message. Now let us have a look at the beginning of the week through to, um, I would say around the 31st of October before we actually fully get into Mercury being retrograde. What, what are the angels telling us about that? Okay, so the eight of air is, um, sometimes this can feel like there is a barrier going down in our lives. You know, um, you want to go, go into a car park or you want to get out of a car park or parking lot, as you say in America, and the barrier is there and you need your ticket to be able to put in the machine. So you've got to pay your money and then you can leave. However, this card can feel very much like we don't have the ticket that will allow the barrier to be raised or the barrier might have just gone come down in front of you and you feel like something's holding you back the plans that you'd made the things that you wanted to do achieve um, take action around have suddenly been put on hold it's like a piece of elastic has been attached to your back and then you were running and then all of a sudden ping you dragged back again and that is perfectly in alignment with mercury going retrograde Sometimes, so number eight is power. And the, the element of air is all about our thoughts, our mind, our logic and reason, how we ruminate on things, how we perceive things, how we make sense of things. So our mind is very powerful at the moment. So be careful what you're thinking about situations. So if, something's, if you're being held back or you feel as though something's been put on hold, the barrier's gone down, you're having to wait around in this car park, in this parking lot that you didn't intend to stay there for, you know, oh, now I'm here, I'm stuck. But wait, what is the value in that? Look around you. Look around you and try and see the value in being held. You know, you can't get through this foliage and they're waiting, they want to have a conversation with you there. It's almost like your guides and your angels are going, we're going to put you in this in this phase where you're healing, you're looking back on things and you're redoing things and, and re-evaluating where you're at. And this can only be a good thing because this is powerful, but the, be, beware the power of the mind that you can use this and see it as very positive and ha having a lot of potential or you can see it as frustration. You can drive yourself crazy trying to get out of the straight jacket that you've been put in. Can enjoy you can enjoy just saying oh I've got a break here I've, I've got time to be able to reassess my situation so don't worry okay don't get yourself in a tiz too much about that and you may be listening to this thinking oh I don't want that I want to move forward but you want to move forward in the right way don't you, you want to move forward with with 
holding the hand of cards that is going to be able to get you to win the game. So sometimes you have to you have to defer, you have to delay, and you have to make sure that you assemble everything just in the way it needs to be done. So the the universe is wise and loving. Nadia Shah, the astrolog astrologer who I follow on Insta and sorry YouTube, always says that the universe is wise and loving, even when it's not. You perceive it as not, but it is. It's doing it for your own highest good. Okay. All right, so as we get to the end of the week, past Thursday through to the weekend, what have we got coming up? Oh, look at this. So there's a lot of mental activity going on. There's a lot of feelings that are making you think. And obviously with Mercury being retrograde, Mercury being, being in Scorpio, there's going to be intensity because Scorpio is about taking you down deep. It's about digging, digging below the surface. It's about the hidden, the mystery, the secret. It's about death and rebirth, and this is this card is death and rebirth for sure because the ten of there is about an old way of thinking coming to an end. So tens are about fullness, completion of a cycle. This is leading you to change. You, you could be getting out of the grip of something or someone that's held you back. So you might be feeling like something's holding me back here. And then by the time you get to the end of the week, you think, I'm not going to let it hold me back. There is a way out of this situation and I'm going to be resourceful enough to find it because air is about thought, it's about directing your thought and saying there is always another way, there's another way of doing this or sometimes I have to give up on something in order to free myself to become, to place myself in this position where I want to be. So this can be thoughts that no longer serve you, people that no longer serve you, situations that just aren't good for you anymore. This can be coming to the end of a cycle and no longer holding on to some of this baggage, you know, revisiting it, really staring it in the face, looking it in the eye and going, I'm healed from you, you don't belong in my life anymore. I move forward with strength. I'm going to be like that little mermaid there going, Wee, I'm so happy. I went deep, I looked at things and now I'm free, free to proceed in the direction that I want to and they've left me alone. Those are the unicorns, those are the, maybe the people, places, situations, or the thoughts that have been troubling you. Release them, release them, and let them all go, my loves. But I tell you what's gonna be an intense week because Scorpio don't do anything <laughs> with superficiality. It wants you to go deep, and it wants you to do that for a reason, because it's healing, right? But sometimes in healing, we have to get operated on, we have to extract things, and it's painful. It can be emotionally painful. Um, psychically spiritually painful or physically painful but the pain is good pain yes it is so it makes you dig deep and get to the root cause and extract that wow i feel very intense myself now now before i move on to look at our little interactive messages so all of you are going to get a message let's have a look and see what is our word what is the word that oh that one seems to want to come out there's the word for the week. Reflection. Thank you, angels. You always give us something that's very, very poignant, very um, relevant to what we've just been talking about. So this is a week of reflection in order to become free. So you're being put in the cosmic waiting room to reflect. You might not want to do it, but it's so for your highest good and you're always being put in situations that always reflect your highest good. And reflection can be, what do I see looking back at me? How do I want my life to look? What do I see in front of me? It reflects me. You are the six people that you hang out with. You are the thoughts you think, the, um, the dreams that you hold on to, the actions that you take. So look at yourself, really reflect upon how is my life? What am I surrounded by? What would I like to be surrounded by? You can change all of that you know you can so let me see what you've been saying while I've been rabbiting on about the messages Sujata's joined us hello Anna um, over in Slovenia has joined us hello there Anna Marianne you say you love listening to me oh bless your heart I love your little hellos and thank yous on my page every day um, 
Margaret Kelly's here. Good morning, Margaret. Thank you for asking about my back. Kelly, I'm getting there. Thank you. Jeanette Bell is saying hi from Down Under. Joanna Rayworth is here this morning. Good morning, darling. Shelley Barnes is here. Hello, Shelley. And Andrea Max Gimming. Hello. Selena Walker. Good morning to you from Canada as well. Andrea Bowen. Catherine Cartwinman Weinman. Bianca Devon. Barbara Bamford. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Nancy. Lovely to have you all with me. Thank you so much. Right, let's get on to our interactive messages, shall we? So we've got some beautiful unicorns. And let me just show you the boxes because I know you like to find out what cards I'm using. I'm that way too. I'm always interested. Like, oh, what are those cards? I think I'll get them. The magical unicorn oracle cards. Gorgeous. And we are the card underneath with the blue is the Energy Oracle cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. I love these and I don't use them enough. So card of the day, I think they will be coming out for next week. All right, so let us begin with number one and we will start with the card underneath. I'm going for number two this morning, I think. So this is messages for the new moon. What significance for you? If you chose a number one, oh, look at that. So the red is, you know, this these doors look very Chinese, got a little Chinese coin there. And the color red um, in Chinese society is considered the, the um, very lucky color for attracting wealth. The color red is also associated with the root chakra and that is accumulating possessions, resources, money in the bank, a home to live in, all of that. And when we add three and one together, we get number four. And number four is all about security. If you think about a table, it's, you know, if it's got four legs, it's much more secure than something with three legs or one leg. And it's the door to value is opening up for you as we go into this new moon cycle. What's on the other side of that? Well, lots of coins and lots of notes and lots of abundance. Isn't that beautiful? The door to value, my loves. Will you step through the doors? Because they're opening. So if you've been having problems with money, um, one of the things that this Scorpio new moon can be bringing for you is the ability to recognize where you've been handling your money, how you've been doing it, any lessons you've, important lessons you've needed to learn. A lot of healing around your money situation and your views around money but also about how valuable you are and allowing that value into your life. So go deep and say, you know, because Scorpio is associated with the eighth house in astrology and the eighth house is other people's money coming towards you, being on the receiving end of it, being a beneficiary of that. So <clears throat> why not? Why not? Okay, if you chose number two, we have the number 18 and that is anxiety. So again, right, what I want to say is um, that is number nine when we add one and eight together. And number nines are you nearly at the end of a period of frustration, anxiety, worry and fear. And look at this girl, right? So she's going, oh, I'm just so racked with worry. But what she's not seeing is, look at the beautiful surroundings she's in. Look at those opulent curtains. Look at all the red, which I talked about being wealth, value, um, security, abundance, the sense of belonging, groundedness. So sometimes we can worry about things and we can't actually look around us and see what we already have. And there is a storm going on outside so there may be a storm going on around you at the moment. There may be something that's causing you anxiety, causing you a lot of worry you're very much in your head. But the storm has to break in order to clear the air. We know this. So just let the storm pass, okay, my loves? And this too will pass because a storm does not go on for weeks. A storm is a moment in time, and usually a very, very short period of time. And then when it's over, the dawn breaks and we can renew ourselves. So we're back to this sense of turn of air. So you might be reflecting, you might be reflecting in a way that is causing you concern and anxiety. And try to be as resourceful as possible. Try to allow those 
you know, those bolts of lightning to give you inspiration about what to do, how to get yourself out of this situation because you can, you know, you're nearly there. So don't worry, this too will pass, it's a transit, my loves. And then number three, if you chose number three, we have 44, this is the angel number. So when we have a, a repeating number like that, that's a master number. So that's the, the angels are watching out for you, giving you lots of support. And this is the woman holding the heart and she's wearing a heart on her sleeve there, quite literally. She's holding the heart up. <clears throat> and she's got a butterfly there on her forehead. So she wants to transform and she's transforming through love. So the message here for you is you are surrounded by love, my darlings, okay, if you chose number three. What you also need to know is if you want love, put love out there in a big way. Be loving and you're going to attract that back to you. Hold on to your heart. Your heart is safe. The angels are surrounding you with love. They want to send love in your direction. They want to send loving people to be supportive, particularly somebody um, <clears throat> friends who are female, very strong feminine energy, mothers, sisters, best friends, you know, people coming to um, help you transform and help you to, to fall in love with life and surround you with love because you need lots of love, okay? Now, if you're getting into a new relationship and you are thinking, I don't know whether to express my love or to throw myself in to be loving this is the card saying you're protected okay your angels are protecting you in this situation all you can do is be loving right just show your love and there's no guarantee you'll get it back but then we don't give out love just to get love back we we need to give love unconditionally no conditions attached to it all right so that is your your message there now I'm going to go and do um, the unicorn cards now for one, two or three. So you can choose the same card or you can stick, you can choose a new card, I was going to say. And don't go away, Woo! don't go away because I've got my little divination dice as well. So um, we'll do a final message for everyone with those. So if you chose number one, your message is listen to your true feelings and never a truer word was said during the this Scorpio season, right? Especially during Mercury retrograde in Scorpio, this very watery new moon. Don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong. So go with your true feelings. You know, he's drinking out of the water, drinking out of a stream here. And this unicorn's thinking, I don't know whether I should. He's doing it. Should I do it? Or should I just honor my feelings and think, I think that water might be contaminated. I don't want to do it. Or he might be thinking, I don't know when's the next time I can go to the toilet. So I'm not going to drink. I'm going to wait until I get near the loo. So listen to your true feelings, okay? Your hunches, your, your instincts are guiding you, all right? And don't let other people press gang you, pressure you into doing anything if it feels wrong. Or if something feels really right and other people are like, oh, what are you doing that for? And then you're questioning yourself. Don't doubt yourself. You're questioning yourself, okay? Your card, if you chose number two, whoops, just be yourself. So there's a big message about being ourselves, being authentic, isn't there? Like not ignoring your vibes. And it's saying you're a great person, enjoy being yourself. You are a great person, you're wonderful. And the path that you're on, you know, you he's going in the opposite direction to that castle there to that amazing place because he obviously wants to go down a different path and if you want to go down a different path that's entirely up to you you don't have to justify yourself to anyone you don't have to try and explain yourself you don't have to fit in when you were born to stand out my loves that's the message so be you the unicorn is leading him in the direction the that little dove is, is leading him. So he's just like, yeah, I think I'm gonna go this way. The road less traveled, but it looks good. It looks like there's some really great traveling companions there. And then finally, if you chose number three, love from your parents. No matter what, your mother and father love you as much as they can. I, I said that incorrectly, the emphasis was wrong. No matter what, 
your mother and father love you as much as they can so remember we got the, the woman holding a heart now I said that there might be um, a lot of love coming to you from uh, females around you um, you know some, sometimes our dad our father can have a very feminine very kind of um, everybody's got masculine and feminine energy can be very very nurturing and um, but also your mom you know this might be a message for you if you're very close to your mom or you you know your mom's being very helpful at the moment or if you have your mom in spirit then she's sending you a little message going I still love you so much I think about you and I'm just sending the love through this message today isn't that gorgeous so feel the love from your mom and um, or anybody who's like a mother figure in your life now let us bring in our little divination dice so um, we're going to go for one, two, or three. This is message number one. This is message number two, and message number three. So, if you chose message number one, look into things more carefully. You're being asked to do some reading and research. You may be maybe thinking about doing some studying. So do that. It's really important. The other thing is very obvious with this is go get an eye examination if you need one. If you need a, your eyes testing, if you need new glasses, you need to wear your glasses a little bit more, um, then do, do so. But um, this is about really, you know, sharpening your intellect, your knowledge, your skills, your wisdom. By doing more reading, research and study would be very good for you. The message underneath is, um, this is very cleansing so it's raining here there's a rain cloud and that is going to be very cleansing and freeing and it you know after the rain there's a rainbow right the sun's going to shine so um you might be going through some stuff but um just know that it's a it's a temporary thing if you chose number two we have a bus now the thing i immediately came into my mind when i saw this is that there are people you know the bus is this community there are people traveling a journey with you and this fits so well with that card that i drew so you're on a journey but you're not going it alone so friends important friends connections mentors gurus are going to come along on that pathway of yours it's like the wizard of oz you know the yellow brick road you're going to meet these companions these traveling companions you are not alone so look out for them they're coming because a busload of them coming and um this is about a journey you're about to embark on a new journey and do not fear because it's going to take you exactly where you need to go the the route is marked out for you go along that route don't fear it because it's going to introduce you to a lot of new things and it's going to be fa fabulous darling <laughs> fabulous and your message underneath is, ah, just chill. Take time out. Chill about it. This is a pick me up, you know. This is this is a cup of hot, a warm cup of tea, hot cup of coffee, something like that. So it's gonna make you feel like you know you're gonna. This is that connection, human connection. You need more of it, and you need to meet these new people. You're gonna be having lots of coffees or cups of tea with. It's gonna be brilliant. Tea and chat. That's what I see. And if you chose number three, refocus please camera, we have the ice cream. So this reminds me of summertime. This reminds me of, you know, all those ink flavors, like we put all the different flavors together, usually ice creams now, you know, if you like Ben and Jerry's, for example, they have all these amazing flavors. And you need some more flavor in your life. So what happened during the summer that has made you think about where do I need to make changes? Where do I need to add more color, texture, flavor into my life? Nurture myself, nurture my life to being how I want it to be. And we've got the telephone. So important messages. This can be, of course, you know, we were talking about message coming from your, from your loved ones. And um, so people are gonna be ringing you up. Um, Obviously, you know, our spirit, spirits won't be ringing us up, but you know, there may be somebody coming along and, and sending you a message to lift your spirits. You may be hearing some news. It's saying to you, but you know, communicate more. And also, you know, like if you have a loved one in spirit who you really want to talk to, 
and you feel like, oh, you know, I just can't, why, do, why not imagine that you're having a phone call with them? Now, I read this amazing story of this girl, I think she was in America, and she, was, she lost her dad four years ago, and every day for four years, she texted her dad to the phone number that he had, originally before he passed, just telling him updates and news, and it made her feel better about herself. And what she didn't realise was that her his phone, the number had been obviously disconnected and somebody had bought the number, got the number, and this gentleman had lost his daughter. His young daughter had died and he was getting these messages every day from this lady who'd lost her dad. And he, eventually after four years he texted her and said, I didn't want to tell you, I was, I've been getting your messages every day and I live for those messages because they helped me to deal with the, the grief. And it was just so, such an incredible story. Um, so that lady did that, she texted her dad. You know, imagine if you could talk to somebody, what would you say, there's no, there's nothing wrong with, with doing that and everything right with sending them a message, writing them a letter sending a text, you know, just send it to yourself even. But what would you say to them? That's a beautiful message for you, my loves. But nurture yourself, add some texture and flavor into your life. What do you want to do next with it all, with your life, this beautiful life of yours? Oh, it's got me all emotional, that. All emotional, that, thinking about that uh, that young lady in, uh, in America. So anyway, my loves, um, I want to thank you for your for your support and your love. Um, I just want to remind you um, that there's a link to my online shop because I've got a Sun in Scorpio super sale on at the moment. And don't forget, I've my books are in the sale. This is the Angel Wisdom Workshop book, and it comes at the moment with a free bookmark, beautiful angel bookmark. Isn't it gorgeous? It's really, really super duper good quality and it has this gorgeous tassel. I don't know why that's doing that. There, there we go, it's a little bit knotted. Um, for you to place in there, um, beautiful bookmark. But there are so many things in this book. Um, I read it again myself the other day. It's got my story, my backstory, all about my upbringing and my <clears throat> difficult situation which led me to do my angelic work. And then the second half of the book is all about meditating, connecting with the angels and archangels. It has some beautiful guidance about how to work with angel energy when you're um, reading cards for yourself and for others. Lots of instructions about um, angel card reading, um, cleansing your cards, shuffling your cards, laying your cards out in different spreads, how to interpret those spreads. This is a really fantastic spread. I've revisited this spread since I started reading my book again. And um, we have things about colors, about numerology, crystal grids for manifesting and the meanings of crystals and how to use them to work with different angels. So there's a lot of stuff in here and it's on special <laughs> and you get your beautiful bookmark and, um, and they'll also uh, my love and light book now that one at the moment I'm sending it out with a unicorn bookmark but I've only got two unicorn bookmarks left um, so when you order it I will send you an angel bookmark instead or a dove bookmark beautiful dove um, but until they run out basically I've only got two um, unicorns left but this is all illustrated by me researched lots of lots of interesting beautiful little things to pick you up every day you can just open the book and read something to um, to give yourself a message so this one says focus on the present the daily the tangible not on the news headlines but on the flowers growing in your own garden the children growing in your own home this way of living has the potential to yield a glittering handful of diamonds where a second ago there was coal so lots of really beautiful little stories and quotes that you all have never heard before because I did a lot of research into those, lots of my drawings and um, little opportunities to journal and write things down, make your own notes in it. So this is a really beautiful gift for anybody who you love, friends and for yourself as well. So there you go. 
there is the um, the link I'll just post it again to the Super Sco Sun in Scorpio sale and you can see lots of other things that are bargains on there that you might want to you might want to um, have a browse but thank you anyway for joining me this morning I wish you a wonderful week happy new moon everyone lots of love to you take care and catch up with you really soon